Hey guys, this is Will Hader. We're doing Packet Tracer 3315 today. And this is going to be configuring the PVST. Let's get into this bugger and get her done. So starting off, we're going to configure... We're going to do something a little differently. We're going to start configuring this as a VTP server. Um, just kind of switching it up a little bit. Um, and we're just using some of the commands from the last chapter's Packet Tracers. Now first we have to create a, a VTP domain. We're just going to use the capitalized CCNA. And then we're going to turn S1 into the server for the VTP domain. Now I tried using the range command on this, but it didn't work. So I just have to create each one of these uh, VLANs in, um, at, separately from each other. But once that's done, you don't have to do it on any more of the other switches because the VTP a server will send that information to the rest of the switches. So that's why we're doing the VTP information or the VTP domain. All right, next we're going to uh, turn the ports on that are connected to the end devices and assign them to the proper VLANs. So for S1, it's going to be F06 PC3. You can see over there on the right. Give the interface command F06. Turn it on with the no shutdown commands, and then we're going to turn it into an access port and then assign it to the VLAN number 30. Okay. All right, what's next here? All right, we also need to do the VLAN, or uh, sorry, the trunks. So Ports 1 through 4 on each one of the switches, actually, are going to be trunk ports. So we use the range command, F01 through 4, and then turn them into trunks. And then we also need to be the native VLAN of 99. So that's important. Now we're going to get some native VLAN mismatch errors here in a little bit, but just don't pay any attention to those until we get them all configured, and then those will go away. So now let's go to piece, or, uh, switch number 3, and we're just going to create that VTP information again using the VTP domain command and turn this guy into a client. There we go. Okay, so now it needs to, we're going to turn that port on for the PC1 and assign it to a VLAN. Also need to make it an access port. Mode access and switch ports access VLAN was uh, S3 is 10. Okay. And then we're going to do also the uh, do the trunks. I think, yeah, trunks. Yep. Okay. So interface range F0 1 through 4. Switch port mode trunk, and we have to do the switch port native VLAN 99 again. There we go. All right, now let's do S2. Just buzzing right through these things. No problem for guys as smart as us, right? Or girls, whoever might be watching. All right, configure T interface. Or now we're due to VTB. Uh, VTP domain a CCNA. Also turn this one into a client. We'll watch our completion points climb as soon as we get that configured. Because it's going to start pulling in that VTP information. Oh, those VLANs. As soon as we um, create these as a trunk actually. So or the, those uh, F1 through 4 needs to be trunk to receive the VTP information. So we'll get the F18 going. Get it turned on, get it turned into an access mode, and then also assign it to the VLAN, uh, VLAN 20. Yeah, 20. All right. Now let's do our trunks. 
I'm going to assign these ones again to the switch or the Trump v 99. Okay, so you can see that they're all unblocking their switch port has been restored, the consistency speed has been restored. All right, next, let's go to part two of this packet tracer. That's configuring the span and tree PBST and load balancing. Uh, so first we'll need to uh, use the spanning tree mode command on S1. We'll just go through these one at a time. Now we need to make S1 the primary for VLANs 1, 10, 30, 50, and 70. So we'll give the root primary command for those. All right. That does it for that one. Let's go to S3. Okay, we'll go to spanning tree um, mode PDST. And then this one for S3, its primary is going to be 20, 40, 60, 80, and 90, and 9. And that's going to be the root primary for those guys. Now for S2, it needs to be the secondary for all the rest of these, but we'll first we'll make it PVST, and then we'll start the spanning tree VLAN, and then just list every VLAN that there is. 1, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 99. Root secondary. All right, so we are almost done with this one. <coughs> We're going to configure your port fast on the switches now. Uh, what this does is it creates, when when they're going through, the spanning tree is going through and configuring the switches, what's happening is it has to figure out where the root bridge is first and then send, uh, you know, a bunch of information back and forth. And it can take up to like two minutes. But for a, for a port that's connected to an end device, you can immediately bring that port online. And that's what we're doing with the... Um, a spanning tree port fast command on that interface. So we did it for S1, let's do it for S3, F011, spanning tree, port fast, and then we do the BP, the BPDU guard. Uh, what happens is if, if that port ever gets attached to another switch and it gets a BPDU, which is a bridge protocol data unit, if that ever comes in, which means it's coming from a switch, it's going to shut that port down. And that's what the BPDU. DU guard, if I could say it correctly, five types fast. Uh, well, that's what that does. That's all that does. So this stuff works great. You know, the port fast works great. If it's an end device, it does not work very good. If it's connected to a switch, it just creates problems. All right, now look at all those green lights. Isn't that wonderful? The last thing we're going to do is assign the VLANs 99 on each one of the switches. We're going to give it an IP address and a subnet mask. So go to the interface of VLAN 99 and add the IP address. And we're going to save ourselves a little time here with a little trick. So 3199, 1, 255, 255, 255, and 0. Now highlight all that and copy. It's going to save us some time. Enter. No, shut that. I don't think I actually need to do that. Okay. Next, X3. Do the uh, interface VLAN 99 and just paste. And we're going to change that 1 to a 3 for uh, switch 3. Enter. Okay. There it is. We're at 98. We're almost there, boys. Interface VLAN 99. Paste. Right here. And change that to a 2. And we're done. Awesome. Isn't this wonderful? Thank you very much for watching. Peace.